Dunedin in New Zealand is a really spectacular city. It's not big in stature, but it is really big on heart. It has buildings, street scenes, the harbour, but I think the great surprise was actually the beaches. So I've chosen a beach scene to paint. I'd love to see what you think. Okay, we've got the beginning stage. A lot of painters actually feel uh, the classic white canvas or white board fear. I don't think I've ever really felt that as a concern. I think for me it's more of, I know it's going to be a bit of a marathon ahead of me. Um, am I going to have the staying power and the concentration, the dedication to make the painting, uh, the painting that I hope it's going to turn out to be? For me that's normally more of the concern so um, here I am getting in some of these really lovely blues that's what really drives the this scene because really it's just a the, almost the classic three card trick sky mid distance foreground I've got those three fields of visual information and ultimately that that's a, a great sign of a of a wonderful scene to paint when we can get that clear delineation between those three planes because a lot of people will always think I've got to put detail from left to right top to bottom but most of the time and it's actually more of a watercolorist thought process is to actually think in layers because watercolorists don't have the beauty or the luxury of texture so they'll think in softness of that value, the softness of that shape, of that brush mark, of the um, how dynamic it is. I almost painted or wanted to paint this scene just because of this headland. Um, it's really quite dark in value, but I think there lies the beauty. If you have a quick look at the uh, reference, you see that lovely dark mass, and I'm not going as dark. Uh, but there's always a tendency to try and get it much lighter and lots more colour in it. But it's pro predominantly a green, a grey green. And then the trick is to not to overdo the little bits of rock face, even though it is very tempting. Okay, now I'm really going to town with plenty of ultramarine blue, uh, throwing in a bit of white, of course, because I always love to think wherever there's light, there's got to be white. And especially when it comes to the white water and the, the, the sandy uh, beach and, and the sand dune. And I'm actually over colorizing this so you'll see when I come down and just touch the headland I'm uh, pre-planning that I will pick up a little bit of that green and it will muddy and gray things off. But if I make it a little brighter, a little warmer that counteracts it. So you see how I've just put in a little moon there. I always feel you go with the subject, with the moment. Um, every painting to me is almost like a, a one-off performance and that's where I always sort of feel that I'm more of an, um, an emotional painter than a technical or even though all the technique uh, is so so important nothing happens or really works out well if we don't have a great technique, great brush mark, uh, tonal values, colour mixing, paint application. Uh, this is almost like putting icing on a cake actually. That's how much fun this is. But as you can see, I'm not racing into every uh, brush mark. Everything is calculated. I'm estimating where this edge will need to start and finish because if anything the um, shapes in the original scene there's a few too many small shapes uh, the two shadow shapes in the mid distance between the very foreground one and where the grass on the diagonal they're a little similar in shape uh, so that's always something to to counteract as well but um, it's always nice to see progression with your painting as well Sometimes I always wish that as you're painting you could um, at certain stages actually see the painting with someone else's eyes, someone else's uh, vision. Sometimes you can 
use a mirror and uh, or even photograph it and flip it but that's a bit, little bit cumbersome I've never liked the mirror idea because it never lines up perfectly so now I'm getting a little bit of sort of visual movement and zip in these foregrounds so it's all confidence at this stage accuracy confidence because ultimately I would rather see a confident brush mark than an accurate brush mark or a, a brush mark that's perfectly placed because there's nothing like having that energy put into that brush and then put into the, the brush mark so now you can see I'm doing the final little touches the overall value is not actually a white white beach if you have a look at the footsteps and all that that is the lightest value and that was probably one of the best secrets and tricks that I think I learnt from this painting in particular because normally you sort of think it's all white sand or, or a light valued sand but there's a lot more tonal range in the actual uh, scene than you would normally give uh, sort of value to but have a look at that lovely little bit of light in behind the figures on the where the white water is that's being mirrored in the sky with the moon um, so I think this really tied together extremely well here I am just bringing back in and just exaggerating a little bit of the uh, reflected light because uh, we always have to remember it's a artistic expression I'm rarely if ever trying to copy reproduce exactly what is in front of me and so long as it uh, resembles the scene um, I'm more interested in how was it painted to what expertise okay I think it's time for another signature this is sometimes one of the harder parts actually of a painting because it's wet in wet this scene was quite a challenge with all the intricate shapes uh, trying to get them all to collate and visually work but ultimately it was just a tonal exercise and with that you can see the values of the sand up against the shadows I use a little bit of artistic license in the sky, but overall, I'm super happy. Hope you enjoy it.